Um, I have a really like thrown together setup. It's it's, it's really bad, and I'm gonna have to. Uh, God, my hat is dirty. I'm gonna now when I watch tonight's video, I'm gonna notice it. Uh, the Internet Today video. My hat blew off when I was trying to get the mail the other day in the wind, and like went a long, long way. I was chasing it for a long time. Yeah, I was watching like Farley stream and stuff, but the thing is, so I, it's literally like a tripod right here. So it's gonna be, it's literally I've like reversed the angle. So it's gonna be disorient, get disorienting uh, when I'm opening it, but I'm gonna try to, you know, do it. And it's not like I have anything special to open. It's a bunch of, uh, it's, I literally got the gift edition of Zendikar Rising. I have the gift edition of that. It comes with um, an oversized spin down life counter, uh, 10 draft boosters, one collector booster, and then the uh, the foil card box, and then an alternate uh, premium foil Cherix, the Raging Isle card, as well as 20 premium foil and 20 regular basic hands. And then I also picked up um, two Ikora packs as well. Uh, and I'm trying this out because uh, uh, Kaldim is coming out uh, very soon, and I got to do a card reveal on that. If you saw it on Twitter, great. If you didn't, um, that sucks. It was really funny because like they asked me to do a card reveal, and I was like, yeah, absolutely, this is awesome. I've been playing so much Magic: The Gathering Arena, but I've never played tabletop or whatever. But I'm really into it, so that it, it, I would love to do a reveal. And then like it was like me, Jordan, Brendan counterparts and uh uh who else is in the magic the gathering chat um fucking uh adam from adam ruins everything adam conover and uh like the the response on reddit was just like who the fuck are these guys why are they why do they get to do a card reveal and the answer is i don't know because i finally cool enough to do one um so i'm gonna get a bunch of uh Kaldim uh, booster packs sent to me and I'm gonna buy some as well so we have a bunch to open when that debuts I believe it's February 5th or something like that it'll be in Magic the Gathering Arena next week though so I'm literally like one week from today so I'm very excited for that unbelievably excited for that uh, I can't wait to play it in Magic the Gathering Arena because there's a bunch of mechanics in that that I do not understand and I am gonna be patiently waiting for um uh, the game to make me understand it. There's like the foretell uh, stuff, the foretell mechanics where you can put something away and bring it back. But just so you see how my, my shit looks here. here. Look at that. Oh, oh it's paused. God, God damn it, this just, just happened. happened. Oh crap, did the, did the audio just fuck up? I'm so sorry if it did. It looked like it was like peaking or something because I switched over to cam, uh, cam link. I don't know what's up with this thing. Hold on, but that's how it looks. I just turned it off, sorry. I didn't realize that it was gonna do that. Um, I don't know why this is doing, there it goes, okay. So this is literally, this is like flipped. The camera is like facing this way. So I have to rotate it so like, Doing this is gonna feel really fucking weird, so I'm gonna have to like watch the screen to actually do it. Um, but cool, I'm excited. I I like opening things, and it's not it's a nice calm stream, you know, no uh, no pressure. How's it going, Gamma Jones and Protocol? Cheers. Oh yeah. All right. Well, so cool. I also do have some. Uh, some of these in case we pull a really rare card. What's crazy is I, so I entered all my cards into MTG Goldfish. There was actually some that were worth a decent amount of money. What card am I looking for? Nah, nothing in particular. Maybe something that I play with uh, in Arena. That would be kind of cool. Like a Ruin Crab or like that. Uh, here's one that I got that was um, somewhat valuable. I think it was like $5 or something. Let me switch over. The Skyclave Apparition. See, it's going to be a struggle trying to figure out where to show it off. 
Um, and then, you know, clear water pathways. I forget what the one, like the super expensive one was. I think that it might've been this one, Body Snatcher. Hold on one second. Yeah, I think this is the one that was worth a decent amount of money. Find out where it is. There it is. I think I'm gonna have to zoom in more so that I'm not like lifting my shit up the whole time. It's out. There you go. But yeah, that one was, I think that one, that's the one I think that was worth $35. That's that card. Anyways, let's put my binder away. Um, so, you know, obviously not anticipating anything worth anything here, but uh, that would be cool to find. Let me pull up a uh, punch. Pull up uh, MTG Goldfish. So if I see anything that sticks out that like I see, usually the way I've been able to like find something that's worth anything is like, oh, I see people playing that all the time, which means it's, that would be sought after online so that people could play it in real life because it's beneficial. Um, the tools, my collection, uh, tabletop. valuable land tax and then skyclave apparition is my second most valuable that's eight dollars oh the other one that went up in price it went up to forty dollars the land tax one that i showed went up to forty dollars and then the next is eight dollars that's the skyclave apparition i'm sorry sam that sucks my new hobby right now my new hobby is mountain biking i also went mountain biking today i try to go every day that i'm not uh riding um so, yeah, hit a bunch of jumps today, did a bunch of runs. What up, Megs? What up, Zach of all time? What up, Project Gummo? Emperor Pompeii, elegant crab. So we're gonna open up the gift box here. See what's inside. Should we do the Ikoria ones first, just to see? I'm gonna get a, get the hang of it with the, with the Ikoria. Whoop. Boom. Time to open. Hope I get some good pulls too. Someone tell me, uh, tell me if I get anything good. And also help me with the proper way to open, like uh, to pull so that the, the best one is last. I believe if I do it like upside down or something, the best one is last. Who's older, me or Elliot? I am older than Elliot. I think Elliot is like one year younger than me. All right. Okay, here we go. Ready? See, it's gonna take a second for me to find it. There it is. Spell Eater Wolverine. Double strike as long as there are three or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. The monster that scares me the most isn't the biggest. I'm trying to find the, the zone here. Adaptive Shimmerer. Enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Emperor Pompey, thank you for the tier one sub. Phase Dolphin. Phase Dolphin, the number one member of the Phase Clan. Even higher than Phase Banks. Whenever Phase Dolphin attacks another target, attacking creature can't be blocked this turn. Not familiar. Bushmeat Poacher. 
Use one mana to sacrifice another creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Okay. Heightened reflexes. Face Dolph. Yeah, hell yeah. How many HP do you turn to burn these gloves? Who's, who's a mode is that? Oh, I gotta get over here. Oh, Young Turks. Amazing. Heightened reflexes. Coordinated charge. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one until the end of turn. Cycling. Oh my god, I see this one all the time in uh, Arena. Migratory Great Horn. Mutate. If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target non human creature. They mutate into the creature on top plus abilities from under it. Whenever this creature mutates, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your life. So this one I've seen a lot of online. What up, Milton Lop? Granith Healer. Whenever you cycle another card, you gain one life. That's that's pretty good. Excavation Mole. Trample. Trample me, daddy. When Excavation Mole enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Rogrin Crystal. The mana card, basically, except for black. And cycling. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Internet Today Clips channel? I don't know. I don't know what, like, that would be t a lot more work to start doing clips as well. One of the most annoying things to keep up with? Yeah, the, there's a lot that uh, I would be completely confused by if it weren't for Magic the Gathering Arena. So I'm glad that it exists. But it also makes it fun to see the cards in real life as well. Because I have a bunch of cards already that I play with in Arena, and it's just kind of be like, hey, look at that. I, I see you every day, all day. All right, next up. Sonorous? Sonorous? Owlbonder? Menace. Creature you control with menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. Very cool. Voracious Great Shark. I've seen this one too as well. Yes. Flash. When Voracious Great Shark enters the battlefield, counter, target, artifact, or creature spell. Let me check this one out. What are we working with here? This is worth, ladies and gentlemen, 45 cents. 45 cents, ladies and gentlemen. Ballin'. All right, let's see what the next one is. Blazing Volley. Ooh, a foil. Foil Blazing Volley. We're retiring now. Foil Blazing Volley. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ladies and gentlemen, this card right here, 27 cents. Fallen! 27 cents. Can you believe it? We're gonna have to sleeve that one. All right, ready? What do we got? What do we got? Dismal backwater. And then I think just a token. Token creature dinosaur. There you go. Uh, Wow.mp4. All right, so there you go. Our first pack of uh, cards from the Icorus, Icoria set. There you go. First pack done. I'm gonna uh, put these in a very safe spot, just back here. 
set here. All right, let's go. Pack number two. Thank you. Big shout out to Emperor Pompey. Yay! And I believe it was Junior that subbed. Oh, and then Milo May resubbed with uh, Twitch Prime as well. And then Junior. Thank you, thank you. How does it feel to be $2 richer? Well, the, the booster pack itself costs $4, so not very good. Friday Night Magic. Oh, look, this car, this, uh, obviously this came out pre-pandemic. So, you know, they're like, join your neighborhood magic meetup. Sorry, we can't do that anymore. We're adjusting to the new normal. Here we go. Uh, Bushmeat Poacher. We saw one of these in the last one. Where am I at? Where am I at? There we go. Shark Typhoon full art. That's what we're going for. All right. Big Titty Wasp or Big Titty Resident Evil Lady. I think there's room for both. Heightened Reflexes. I think we already saw that one as well. Coordinated Charge. Creatures you control get plus one, plus two, plus one until end of turn. Cycling. Frost Veil Ambush. Tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. That's a fucking annoying card. We talk about, did the new episode go up yet, Sam? Because we talk about, I talk about the big titty Resident Evil lady. All right. Suffocating fumes. Creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus one until end of turn and cycling. Yesterday it was flying tigers and crumbling bridges. Who knows what today will bring? Glimmer Bell. I think I've seen one of these as well. Rena. Another migratory great horn. I wonder what that one goes for. I've seen it in, like, again, I'm just going by what I've seen on uh, Arena, but if people play them a lot on there, chances are that people play them a lot in tabletop. 20 cents. Fuck me. All right. Almost gave away myself. Granith Healer. I already saw that one. A lot of dupes. Activation mole, another dupe. Come on, Ikoria, what the fuck? How many cards are in this? 274 and I'm getting this many dupes? Sprite dragon, that's cute. Oh my God, I love, I'm loving WandaVision so far. I don't know why people online hate it. Or some people online hate it. I don't know. I don't get it. The whole, the show is, uh, the show is like, I just feel dread the entire time. It's just like, I'm watching it. I'm like something, t both episodes. I'm just like something terrible is about to happen real soon. And it's going to be real bad. Like the whole time I'm uncomfortable, which is great. Any show that can make you feel something like that is good. Okay. There's your, your Sprite dragon. Porky Parrot! One day, long ago, a porcupine and a parrot decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let's bang. Flourishing Fox. I have seen these before. Flourishing Fox. Flourishing Fox. Come on, what are you worth? What are you worth? What are you worth? 
32 cents. 32 cents going straight into the 401k. All right. Mythos of Nethroi. And then the shadow took living form, and the shadow devoured the man whole, body, mind, and soul. Okay. That's destroy target non-land non -land permanent if a creature, if it's a creature, or if green mana and white mana was spent to cast the spell. Blood fell caves. A land, a foil land. Not just any land. They enter the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Look at that beautiful foil. Beautiful foil. Planes card. And the token, human soldier. Okay. So, what was that last one? It was Bloodfell Caves Foil. And a lot of uh, sets. 26 cents, even for the foil? Okay, whatever. You know, we're doing this because it's fun, it's nice and relaxing. We're not here to make money. We're not Jake Paul out here pulling out uh, golden Charizards. I, I can go buy Pokemon cards, but I literally, I, at least I play Magic. Pokemon I would just be pulling just to pull. All right. Now it's big boy time. Go watch off. Set it aside. Urgh. Yeah, I have a Cragtown pathway or whatever, and uh, clear water or something like that. So those are those are worth something. Oh, gift edition. I would like to say that I went and I paid my uh, fifty-five dollars for this gift edition at a local comic book and uh, trading card store, and um, I wish I, I, I wish we weren't in a pandemic because I would have loved to have spent some time in there because they had a whole case filled with rare uh, Magic the Gathering cards, like single ones for sale that were apparently worth. I, I would have loved to have just browsed and just seen what was out there. Um, sadly, we are in the middle of a pandemic, so I walked in and grabbed this and walked out. I paid for it, obviously. But I wanted to support the local business instead of ordering it on the Target or the Amazon. So, you know. All right. So, we do get that, like, guaranteed Cherix card in this. The premium foil Cherix, Raging Isle. Let me see if that's... I think it's part of the... Just this set. Cherix, Raging Isle... Bundle. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's like 68 cents. So, nothing too crazy. What set is this for? Uh, Zendikar. Zendikar Rising. Zendikar Rising. So. There you go. A foil collector's box to go with my other box back there. My other Zendikar box. Um, dirty tag. And just a space filler. Uh, whatever the hell this is. A little art piece. Yo. Very cool art, as always. Alright, here's the box. Oil collector's box. Very nice. 
Very cool. You thought MTG was over? I don't know what that means. Okay, so here is what we got. Boosters. And then uh, promo cards. And then a how-to card. Highly collectible how to guard. And then I have uh, the life counter. 20 sided die. That comes with it. And that is like a different color from the other Zendikar box that I got. So that's cool. Rare cards at a card shop. Uh, yeah, they had a whole display filled with like single MTG cards. But I didn't, obviously couldn't spend time looking at it because I don't want to fucking be inside around people. I go in, I grab my product, and I leave. All right, um, so these, what are these? So here's the boosters, and then we have the collector's booster as well. So we have these to open. These are... Oh, that's just the, these are just like the lands. And then you get the Cherix, here you go. The Cherix uh, Raging Isle foil card. And then the rest are just lands. There's 20 foil lands and 20 basic lands. So that's cool. So we don't really need to open these. That's what's in them. It's just lands. I don't think there's any special like art on the lands. Just what comes with Zendikar. Go. Did you send it off to get graded, Sega fan? Because that's what I learned from watching Farley stream. You have to send it off. You have to send it off to get graded, and he's like sent his off like however many months ago, and uh, he hasn't even gotten it back yet. Yo, what up, Kemet the Frog? Well, I'm sure that like the, the all that grading stuff is probably so outrageously delayed because every single fucking person on Earth is opening up uh, Pokemon cards. Pokemon! Pokemon! Everyone's opening up the Pokemon cards. All right, so Zendikar, uh, I, I love Zendikar because this is when I got into the game, literally in October. And Zendikar, this set was released in September, I believe. So this is kind of what I know. This, uh, a bit of the Ikoria stuff. Uh, what is it, Theros? And uh, then the core 2021 set is... Uh, the only, the only shit that I know about. Um, so cool. Here you go. A little Zendikar. I wonder if they, they need to start putting bubblegum back into these things. Uh, again, just to let you know, uh, if you're into Magic the Gathering cards or just, uh, the lovely ASMR of card pack opening, I'll be doing some Chaldee, Chaldeem, uh, openings when the set is released. Uh, which should be like February 5th or something. Let me see. I just pre-ordered uh, some boosters. I did just pre-order some boosters yesterday. 
I'm like really tossing around the idea of getting the collector booster for like $200, but I just... I have time to think it over because it doesn't release till late February. Uh, I got Elite. February 5th. February 5th is when it comes out. Giving out pro promos with pre-orders? I have no idea. I just pre-ordered it on Amazon. Because as much as, like, like this whole, all of these I got at the local shop. And, you know, maybe I'll pop in there on the 5th and see if they have anything. But, like, I don't want to risk getting it late for some reason. But I will be going to this shop more and more now uh, to get cards whenever I uh, feel like opening them. Because you should always go to local business if you can. All right. Let's open a pack. Mm, these open a lot. New new card technology. New card foil or whatever pack technology. Yes, drink water. Okay, here we go. Farsight Adept. Some room over there. Fisher Wizard. I've seen them a bunch. On MTG Arena. Fisher Wizard. Cascade Seer. Expedition Healer. Go get your drink, Project Gummo. I've been, I've been playing a lot of Standard, Ricky. I think that's the only thing I play. Standard is just what's ever available in Ranked, right? Standard Ranked, I believe. I played uh, one draft thing, but like all the draft stuff's so expensive. You need to spend all those jewels and everything. I do get some draft tokens because I pre-ordered uh, Kaldim. Uh, I got both the mastery pass and the and the booster packs, the digital one. Uh, so it was like a hundred dollars, but I got that hundred dollar bear, so everyone knows how much money I spent on it. Uh, so I'll have fifteen booster packs, digital booster packs, the mastery pass, and the planeswalkers. As well, my channel only Magic the Gathering, or do I do it? It is very rarely Magic the Gathering, actually. I mostly talk shit about the news on here uh, and then play other stuff. But it's been the only thing I've been playing recently, so. Ghastly Gloom Hunter. Dauntless Survivor. I also have the uh, Bob Ross land cards pre ordered as well. Rotag Bug Catcher. That art is sick. Fucking demented, I love it. Prowling Felidar. Elegant Crab, just get Magic the Gathering Arena. It's free to play, you'll fucking figure it out. I am a moron and I figured it out. It took me like a week of playing nonstop to fully fucking understand it. But uh, once I did, once it clicked, I got it. And then the next thing you wanna do after that is uh, like just do the daily challenges and stuff like that because you're going to learn all the other decks that way. And that way when you're facing someone, you can uh, kind of understand what they're playing and how to play against them. Uh, the next step after that would be going to... What I did is go to MTG Goldfish and look at the decks that people are playing and the decks that people are like winning with and what, how it works with the meta and start... Do your dailies and unlock coins and... and unlock and open up packs so you can get the cards to build those decks so the first thing i built was a mono red aggro deck and i still use that one i built made it three or four months ago and i still use that one but the one that i'm playing with now is like a blue mill deck and even when i lose to that deck I, mean, I still have a fucking blast because it's the most annoying deck to play against so i know even if i'm losing that i'm annoying the shit out of the other player uh my ranked this month I was Mythic in November, I was Platinum, no, Diamond in December, and then this one, uh, I'm just Platinum because I've been playing nothing but Blue and not caring about my rank. If I really wanted to like 
try hard, I would just go straight mono red aggro because I got the diamond both months and mythic the first month. Machinima old head? No, our, our YouTube channel is literally just news. My Twitch is everything. Games and news and everything. Dreadworm. Look at that fucking art. I think that's actually a... Uh, what is that? The kind of art style called? I forget what it's called in this. Like a... Um, not extended, right? Asking about my Twitch? Yeah, it's just everything. Extended art, okay. What is this? Why isn't this popping up? Oh, it's because I spelled it wrong. Showcase. Is that what the... Yes, showcase. That's what it's called. Showcase art. How's Hitman? Those games are... They seem a little bit slow for me. Canyon Jerboa. What makes it extended? It's just a different art style. It's it's It has like a different border than what this would typically be. So this is... On the MTG Goldfish, it's called uh, Showcase. This is just a different like border style. Iridescent horn beetle. Go. Zoff consumption. Each opponent loses four life and you gain four life. Annihilation surround us. Surrounds us. Our call is to embrace its ceaseless hunger. Ooh, there you go. Legendary. Ashaya, soul of the wild. Soul of the Wild, Zendikar Rising. This is $8.30. Fuck yeah, we did it. I know it's not a Pokemon, but damn, that's actually pretty sweet. I know it's not a Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen, but we did it. $8.30. We can go home now. It's done. Dana, you hear that? We're rich. $8.30 for this one card. This is Asha, uh, Ashaya Soul of the Wild. Legendary. Elemental. Look at me get my grubby fingers all over it. Bringing the value down. I can now retire. Next pack, a card worth a couple bucks. There we go. All right, so we have to sleeve this now, right? I've never sleeved a card before. Let's go. We must protect the $8 card. God, the, the sleeves are sleeved. I can't get it out. What is this mystical plastic that they use? Jesus fucking Christ. Come on. There we go. Right. Stonks, baby. I've never sleeved a card, so I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. To the top. Oh, wait, we, yeah, we should probably show off the next one. Obviously, if we're going to put it away. Here we go. There's the $8.30 card. Actually sells for $10.99 on Card Kingdom. So there you go. Maybe a little even bit higher. How much did the gift pack cost? $55 at my local 
independently owned comic book shop. Okay, ready? Oh my god, Occam Warrior foil. Occam Warrior foil card. Okay. And then a uh, extended is whatever land, full land. And then a token. Or wait, yeah, token. Okay, so let's check out the Occam Warrior foil. Twenty nine cents. Twenty nine cents for the foil. With the Occam teeth on the back. Crazy that this card, like, I mean, obviously it's like, okay, it's foil, big deal, whatever. But like, this card is just so goddamn beautiful in real life. And then this one's worth eleven dollars. This one's worth twenty nine cents. Okay. Now we do the sleeving. After I get my freaking grubby, slimy hands all over it. Card is now protected. It is now protected. That card is safe. And it's going into the safe next to the next to my marriage license. All right, so there you go. That's a, that's, well, $11 if you sold it on Card Kingdom. There you go. All right, let's do it again. And again, at the end of all of these, we still have a bunch of these packs to do. And then the collector booster, which should be all rare shit. Yeah, yeah, it's like Antiques Roadshow. And then after the stream, when it's uh, uh, my time to fuck around, I'm just going to enter all these into my collection on MTG Goldfish. Maybe there's some random one that I didn't even notice that's worth something. All right, let's do it. All right. I'm like opening this the dumbest way possible. I'm like being too careful, even though like there's nothing in here is worth that much money. It's not like Pokemon. I think the most valuable Zendikar card is like $40 or $50 or something. I think. Let me see. Um, uh, uh, I don't know how to check in here. Price lists. Um, Zendikar. There's one for fifteen dollars. And one of the ones I had was pretty pretty high up there, honestly. There's a oh an Ugin. Uh, Ugin would be twenty two fifty. So let's hope for an Ugin. Shark Typhoon is twelve dollars. Well, let's hope for that. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's like the, the highest one is the Ugin and the Shark Typhoon. So we'll hope for that. We will hope for that. Okay. Oop, accidentally showed something almost. All right. See you later, Care Bear. Gorch Rider into the Royal. Let's see here. All right. Into the Royal. Angel Heart Protector. Synchronized Spellcraft. Blood price.
Blood is the oldest currency. Look at the t look at the top four cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You lose two life. Kazandu Nectar Pot. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. I've seen this one a bunch. Creatures you control have haste. That's pretty sick. Eighteen cents, baby. Eighteen cents. Ooh, thank you, Project Gummo. Here we go. Glacial grasp. Oi, utility knife. Call that a knife. Utility knife. Goma Fada Vanguard. Hello, Mutta. Hello, Fada. Relic Axe. Boom. There you go. Relic Axe. One that appears in uh, uh, plenty of... No, I guess just this one. Like some cards that appear in a bunch of different sets. Azul's Fury. Oh, I play with this one all the time. Target Intimidator. I play with this one every time that I play my mono red aggro deck. There's the other side of the Kazul's Fury. Clips. I play with this one every single day. It is. It's actually really cool to see it in real life. I know that's lame, but uh, it's been 10 months in quarantine. So give me a fucking break. Azul's Fury. That Kazul star, that was worth 30 cents. This one is. So what I'd like to do is build the decks that I play with in MTG Arena in real life, like rebuild those decks. And then when the uh, pandemic's over, like go play with friends who play Magic and bring those decks. They can be like, yo, I fucking play with, I already know how to play this one and just stomp them. Uh, Project Gumma, I do play blue. I've been playing blue pretty much this entire month. I switched from mono red aggro to uh, a blue mill deck and it's so much fun. I'll play it after the, uh, after the card uh, opening, I'll play a couple rounds. I might not win them, but even when I don't win, I'm having fun with the blue deck, so it's a win-win. Targon, Intimidator, Zendikar Rising, non-foil is 40 cents. Okay. Well, still very cool to see it in real life. See you later, Jojo Walka. Oh my god. This one... I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be worth something. This is another one I play with every single day. This is part of my blue black uh, mill deck. This one, without even, I'm not even looking at the card. I'm gonna tell you what this one does. You can bring it out as a land, as a uh, black land, or you can bring back something from your graveyard. So sick, so sick, and it's a foil. Agadim's Awakening and a foil. I know that that one is worth something. Agadim's Awakening foil is $16. Dana, book us a trip. We're going on vacation, baby. $16 for this one card. This card, I play with this card every day in Arena. It's fucking dope. I'm so excited that I got it and a foil version of it. This is so cool. So yeah, look, so this side, uh, let's go. I think this is just a land, but it's a full land, so that's cool. 
Uh, so this side is playing it as a land. Agadim the Undercrypt. It enters the battlefield. You may pay three life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. And then this one is you can uh, return from your graveyard to the battlefield any number of target creature cards that each have a different converted mana cost, X or less. So this is a really powerful card. It really comes in handy late in the game when you have just shit tons of mana to use. Uh, really, really cool to find in here. Um, and then, of course, the beautiful full art land card. But yeah, this is easily one of the most crazy ones to find. Yes, I will sleeve it. We're sleeving it. So right there between the two, so the pack was, the box was $55. And so the other one, if you sold it on Card Kingdom, actually, so this one on Card Kingdom is $20, but we're going to go by the average price. This one's $20. We're going to go by the average price though, which is $15.88. Um, it's on eBay for $16. So let's say 16, let's say 10 for the other one. So that's 26 just between two cards. Two packs, two sleeveable cards. There you go. Uh, this is like the coolest. If I could have picked probably one card to get as a foil in this entire set, it would have been this one. Because I know that I've seen this one on MTG Goldfish anyway for fetching a pretty price. And uh, very cool to pull it randomly. Yeah, the Akora packs are like $3 or something, so... Ikoria. So yeah, here we go. These two right here. Boop. Boop. There you go. So let's see if we can make the value back uh, from the gift box in the rest of the pulls. We still got a ways to go. I mean, we have like, we still have the collector booster too, so. That's 96 gumball. Okay, so we got those back there, nice and safe. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break and go grab another non-alcoholic beer. And I'll be right back. Well, I'm gonna leave these up here so everyone can stare at them. Really take it in so that also so there's something on the screen. And I'm gonna take a screenshot. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey, we're rich.
All right, here we go. Back. See, I was quick. Okay. Hello again, everyone. No, I've got to get them sent off and graded. All right. Who is ready for more pack openings? Uh, I have currently for my next non-alcoholic beer. Just the second one. Good night. But, you know, I'm feeling uh, really good. You know, I want to uh, crack out the good ones. Brooklyn Lager, special effects, non-alcoholic IPA. Very good stuff. If you're looking to stop drinking alcohol, but not sacrifice the taste of a delicious beer, this is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> Hello, I just, we make good mittens in Vermont. Here we go. You'll get there when you're older, Mike. Okay, here we go. Tormenting voice. Shell shield. Expedition skulker. You quit cold turkey because you were drinking a lot of tequila during lockdown? That's pretty much what I did. I, I, I definitely quit cold turkey. And I'll be uh, completely stone cold sober, no alcohol at all. Next Monday, it'll be six months. Six months of sobriety on Monday of next week. Not that I'm keeping track. And also nine months of no nicotine. Nine months of no cigarettes, no... Uh, Jewel, nothing. Expedition Skulker. Jiraga Visionary. Do I feel like it was getting bad for me or I just didn't want to drink anymore? Uh, both. I think, uh, like accelerating everything else that's been going on in the world, uh, quarantine, uh, definitely, I was just like, there's nothing to do. I'll just get drunk. And that is, uh, you know, at least I was able to identify that that was bad. Um, and I tried to slow down and then I would just be like, like, as soon as I had like two beers, it was it. I was going to finish like a whole six pack. So I was like, eh, <laughs> let's nip this in the bud before it gets uh, really bad. Um, he's a mega visionary. Turn Timmer aesthetic. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna continue when the world is back to normal, because I do enjoy going out to bars with friends, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how I feel. I'll tell you what, I feel, I've, I literally have felt fucking fantastic since I quit. Um, it's been great, so no downsides of it. Although I do miss going out with friends and getting drunk, but uh, can't do that right now, so oh well. Turn Timber Ascetic, uh, Ascetic, Stonework Pack Beast. Thank you guys. Thank you for the kind words. The smoking thing was harder, honestly. It's, it was way harder. Like, smoking was easier to quit, or jeweling, I should say. It was easier to quit cold turkey, but then the cravings every once in a while are like really intense. Like when I ever see someone smoking in a show or something, I'm like, oh my God, that'd be so good right now. But like when I see them drinking, I don't think about it. But that's mainly because I have like an amazing substitute. Like they make incredible non-alcoholic uh, beers now. And I really actually do enjoy the taste of beer, so. All right, enough of the being an adult, a responsible adult shit. Stonework Pack Beast. 
Ooh, I've seen this one a bunch. Malakir Blood Priest. Yeah, by Final Form being straight edge. I mean, I was straight edge until I was 21. Like, actually, like, in the hardcore scene, straight edge. And then, like, most straight edge kids sold out when I was 21. So it's a return to form. And I used to ride BMX all the time. Like, nonstop, since I was, like, seven years old. Was racing BMX and doing trails and all that stuff. And now I'm mountain biking and doing trails and jumps and shit. I was at a BMX track today because there's a mountain bike thing next to it. And I rode the BMX track on my mountain bike. Okay, here we go. Cleansing wildfire. Way too many of these in California. No need. Get it out of here. Uh, really chill guy. Uh, Jordan, you're going to want to see these. You're going to see these bad boys. This one, between seven and ten dollars. This one, twenty dollars on Card Kingdom, sixteen dollars on eBay. The Agadim's Awakening foil, very cool. I'll send you the uh, uh, Ashaya. No, I'll hold on to it, and then when I see you in real life after the pandemic, I will give it to you in person so you can have it. You enjoy the card. I did have a card that I love in here. But it was just a regular one. It was the, um, oh, what was it? Not Kazul's Fury. Just after that. Oh, Kargan's Intimidator. So out of my mono red aggro deck, I pulled this physical card, which I'm really stoked on. Because I want to rebuild my decks to play in person, just like I play them in MTG Arena, because obviously I know them. So, yes. Anyways, uh, back to more. And here, Jordan. Look, here's what we have to go through still tonight. We did some... We did some uh, Ikoria decks, and then we have all of these. Zendikar. And then I also have the Collector's Booster as well. Let's continue. And then I was just talking about how I was straight edge again now. Uh, Cleansing Wildfire. Cunning Geyser Mage. Also really big into tea now. If in case anyone saw my tweets. Very much love tea. Had some had some Irish breakfast tea today that was very good. And I was energized all throughout the day. It, was, it, it worked very well. And then tonight I'm going to have some uh, Bengal spice or some peppermint tea to sleep. Seagate Banneret. Ooh, Cargan War Leader. That one's nice. Yeah, I have a bunch of, uh, like I make cold brew coffee for the morning. Just so I have something to chug all morning. But uh, nice afternoon tea pick me up. Shadow Slinger. Relic Vial. Pokemon. All right, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Showcase card with the Kazandu Mammoth. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Now, I know, Regitino, quarantine has changed me. Flip it around. Well, then I'm going to reveal the card behind it. So I'll reveal the card behind it first. Let's hope it's a good one, and then I'll flip it around. Ooh, full art planes. Okay, so back to this one. Kazandu Mammoth. You have Kazandu Valley. Enters the battlefield tapped. I'm going to guess 55 cents. Let's see. The showcase... 59 cents. Is that what I said? Did I say 55? 59 cents is the average. On eBay right now, it's $1. $1. $1. And then planes, and then a token. Or whatever, blank card. All right, next up, let's keep going. So 
Pillars of Eternity, nice. All right. There we go. Open it! Azim Royal Mage. Farsight Adept. Ooh, Fisher Wizard. We've already seen one of those, but I love this card. Carbon from the air? So a Wind Farmer? Like Luke's parents? Or Luke's uh, aunt and uncle? Subtle Strike. Might of Murasa. The continent of Morasi is defined by impressionable growth, both natural and otherwise. See, that frog is so fucking high. Look how high that frog is. Blazed out of his goddamn mind. What the fuck? Uh, this is literally Mr. Toad's wild ride. Moisture farmers, okay. Dauntless Unity. Highborn Vampire. Nick Cam. Uh, I've, we've been, I've been asking Elliot to like uh, find the foam shit. We can put the new art up. We need to do it. Tajuru Snarecaster. Royal Eruption, that's a fucking sick card. Great, great card. One of the first cards I played with. Because uh, it comes, I believe, in the standard red deck that they give you. Strength of Solidarity. I play against this one a bunch, but I've never really played with it. I had the last two pieces I made in full size. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. We need to put that shit up. I know. Wind Rider Wizard. Oh. That's the thing that uh, Elon Musk just put out. Like, someone to develop that, right? Sleeve it? Sleeve what? Which one? Strength of Solidarity? I see it in here. Oh, there it is. The royal for my deck. I, I, I'll i keep it. Don't worry. I, I'm going to go through all of these later and add them to my collection so that I can organize them. Believe me. That's what I do in my spare time when I am sitting at the desk and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I will add them to my collection. I have a whole... Thing going on MTG Goldfish with all of my cards organized. Okay, here we go. Moon, or sorry, Moss Pit Skeleton. Mosh Pit Skeleton. Open up this fucking pit. All right, let's go. Big money, big money. No whammies, no whammies. Big money. Bayon Vale. Big money, big money. This is a double sided one. It says a land on the back. Big money, no whammies. Arkan of Amiria. This is, ooh, it's worth a dollar. One dollar, Bob. There's the back of the other one. One dollar, sleeve it. All right, here we go. Full art forest. Very cool. 
And then, ooh, Goblin Construct. Hell yeah, let's go. These are very, very, very annoying to play against when someone pops those on one of you, on, on your character, because it just sits there and beats the shit out of you whenever you play. So yeah, at the beginning of your upkeep, this creature deals one damage to you. Someone gives that to you through a spell, and it takes your life away, slowly but surely. Full forest land, so dope. God, the art on these is so cool. All right, I will sleeve more later because I do have some other ones that are very good. Okay, here we go. Yep. <clears throat> I swear to God, like whenever like shit gets back to normal and they do packs again, I'm going to go to packs and then like this time I'm just going to go to the tabletop area and like if you want to come 1v1 me in magic, I'll just be sitting there waiting. Just fucking let's go. This is guaranteed at least once. Leave it. All right, cool. Let's see. Can't wait to beat Jordan's ass with a blue rogue deck in real life. I don't want to play you anymore. I don't want to play with you because you just play your rogue deck with your just move the card. All right, here we go. Practice tactics. Pyroclastic Helion. Hey, Dank Meme Center. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Dank Meme Center going above and beyond to help me pay for my magic, uh, the gathering addiction. That's four, I think four subs today. So that is uh, four packs of cards I can get. Pretty much every sub is a pack of cards. Well, a little bit less, but whatever. So subscribe so I can feed my magic addiction. Here we go. Pyroclastic Helion. Seafloor Stalker. Marauding Blight Priest. I've seen this one a whole bunch. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Thank you, thank you, Dank Meme. And uh, just like Dank Meme, you can uh, subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. If you've got a Twitch Prime account, just click sub and then scroll down and it'll say you can subscribe for free. There you go. Broken Wings. I've seen this one a bunch too. I've played against this one a bunch because everyone always uses it on me. Broken wings. They take down my uh, Skywalkers or whatever the hell those things are called. Maybe I'm just thinking of Star Wars again. My floaty boys, as I like to say. Expedition Diviner. Play MTG Arena, Dank Meme Center. It's free. You really wish Magic had a good video game? They do. MTG Arena on the Epic Game Store. It's free. Do all the trainings and you get uh, booster packs to unlock for the game. It's great. Up until last week, I had only spent probably $60 like just randomly buying decks or not decks, booster packs. Uh, but then the last week or this week or whatever, I spent $100 on the new Caldeem uh, Mastery Pass and booster packs, which will unlock next one week from today. Uh, Magic to Gathering Arena Mobile on Android phones next week. So I need to charge up my old Pixel. Skyclave Squid with a showcase art. Skyclave Squid with a showcase art. Showcase. Canopy Baloff. No sleeping, no sleeping. Oh, you don't need... Oh, yeah, I guess... Yeah, that, I mean, I, I use Epic Game Store to launch it. And it keeps track of how long I've played it. Okay, so you can just download it straight from the website. There you go. Just get Epic Game Store. Like, people are over it. The Epic Game Store is here to stay. Get over it. Just fucking download it. Plus, they give away free games 
every week. They were giving away a free game every day during Christmas. Like Star Wars Battlefront 2 and shit. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. The funnest one to say. Spring Mantle Cleric. Uh, I think I, I personally like the more like comic-y fan art because as, as talented as people who draw realistically are, I always like to see something that's fantastical, unrealistic. Spring Mantle Cleric. There we go. This is one of my boys that I play with all the time. Merfolk Wind Robber. Big staple of my uh, rogue deck. Uh, I think you might be thinking of Magic the Gathering Online. Magic the Gathering Arena like literally was released, what, a year or two ago? It's basically like Hearthstone, but for Magic the Gathering. I'm, I'll play it after I'm done uh, opening these packs, you can see, but it's great. It works great. I mean, I'm sure that people have problems with it, but I don't know it well enough to like be angry at it. But it works great for me. I don't know. Uh, very good card. Play it literally all day, every day. Big staple of my rogue deck. Merfolk Wind Robber. McKindy Stampede. And then there's land on the back. All right, ready, ready. Big winner, no whammies. Grackmaw, the Skyclave Ravager. Oh shit, Emperor Pompey, thank you so much for gifting two subs. Phyllis Steen and Hungry Guy 11. Thank you so much. Rackmaw, the Skyclave Ravenger. Let's check this one out. Rackmaw, oops. Rackmaw. Eh. 45 cents. Ah, whatever. Hey, how you doing? Okay. And after Grackmaw, we got a foil. I can see the foil. After Grackmaw, the Skyclave, Skyclave Ravenger, what do we have? What up, Turtle Box? See you later, Emperor Pompey. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thanks for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. One last one for you, Emperor. Here we go. Smite the monstrous foil card. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Darkness always flees from the light and I am the breaking dawn. There you go. Smite the monstrous. Foil version, nonetheless. There you go. Foil. Very cool looking. And then a land. Ooh, full art mountain. Full art mountain. Very cool. Ooh, my freaking arms. I got to figure out a better way than just the setup that I have. Because I have to like lean the whole time. My body's already sore from mountain biking. Hey, Dank Meme Center, gifting two subs. Thank you so much, Dank Meme Center. Josh Taj and OG Whiz. Thank you so much. Add, in addition to Emperor Pompey's, eight, eight subs. That's eight packs I can buy. Did I buy a box? Yes, I bought the gift set. Bought the gift set. Yeah. The foil collector's storage box that came with it. We've already opened up one, two, three, four, five packs. We have five to go. And then we also have the collector's, the collector's booster as well to go. And we did two Ikoria packs as well. Uh, I'm not doing old man walks, I'm mountain biking. I The only walks I do are when the grade on the hill is so 
intense that I have to get off the bike and walk the bike up. And let me tell you, it's going really bad for the back. The back sucks. Did I get, uh, did, uh, yes, I do have some new stuff. I was just talking about that earlier, Roy Rogers. I have uh, Galdeem stuff coming. Uh, I believe Wizards sent me some stuff, uh, but I don't know what they sent me, so I don't know how many packs I'm gonna get from them directly. But I also pre-ordered um, uh, basically like this, like where you get like 10 or 15 boosters, uh, just in case, because I wanted plenty of stuff to open on the fifth. I want I want too much stuff to open. We're gonna it's gonna be a long day. What up, snoozy snail? <clears throat> hey, Turtle Box gifting out four subs. Oh my god, thank you so much, Turtle Box. Hell yeah. Shout out to Turtle Box. Giving a sub to Luke, Dune Turtle, Error, and Leet Neat. Thank you so much. Snoozy Snail with 100 bits. Wow, you guys are very kind. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Only enough for four subs on my dad. Don't, dude, don't worry. Oh, you bought a bunch of Caldean boxes? Dude, Turtle Box. I am literally, like, so close to ordering the $200 uh, collector booster box. It comes with, let me see. Flip this over so there's something more engaging to look at. Caldeem Collector Booster Box. It's like $200 and it comes with, it's $212, but it doesn't come out until, why does it say? Weird, it had a different delivery date yesterday. Anyways, it's $212, comes with 12 packs and they're all collector boosters, so. Yeah, that box is fucking gnarly. Um, but yes, I did pre-order uh, just a regular, I think it comes with like 10 or something. Kind of like exactly what I got here. But like someone was just saying, oh shit, there's a hype train going. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Feed the hype train, get some emotes. Um, someone was talking about, uh, oh, Dank Meme Center. Um, they clean out Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh real fast. Well. So what just happened with magic that was a big thing was that the Caldeem set reintroduces the snow land. So apparently this is all before my time. I literally don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, but the, they reintroduced snow lands. So a bunch of the old sets that had snow lands and abilities in them are like tripling in price on eBay. So like old sets are like going for $800, $1,000 for collector and booster boxes because they have snow stuff in them. It's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, okay, let's do another one. Let's do another, enough talking. Shut up and unbox the cards. All right. Hello, Yoshi. Get to know your boosters. Draft booster, perfect for limited. Guaranteed foil, up to four rares and a set booster. All the packs are fucking weird. And then you have the commander ones, which is like, I guess you get the commander ones if you want to play a specific, please someone tell me in the chat, but you get a commander deck thing and that basically comes with all the cards you need to play that deck specifically. So if it's like a red or a blue or a combo, like they'll all work together. I think that's what it is. Hey, thanks Project Gummo, or you're welcome, I should say. I think that's what it is, I don't know. It's all very confusing to me. My whole goal is, uh, the pre-cons come with 100, okay, there you go. My whole, my whole thing is opening up, hey, thank you Tetris Addiction, appreciate it. My whole thing is just, I, I like, I like the art. I like the cards. I want to get as many as I can so that I can build decks out of them whenever the world comes back. Um, in the meantime, like I'm spending all my time on this game, so it's kind of monetarily. That's how I'm compartmentalizing it in my brain. 
We got one minute left on the hype train. It's a non-rotating set with a focus on the commander format. Okay, there you go. Sure. Cascade Seer. Expedition Healer. Getting some dupes. Oh yeah. No, already after after tonight. After tonight, like I I want to go out and buy more tomorrow. I probably shouldn't, but I do. Luckily, I have to write tomorrow's episode, or I would be out buying cards. And on the weekend, uh, I belong to Dana, so she won't let me. So that's good, too. Cool Alien, thank you so much. Gifting two subs to Mazap and VictDO. Thank you, Cool Alien, so much. Fade Dust, resubbing. 25 month three. Have I experimented with MTG Arena? I guess you weren't here for that conversation, but I've, I started playing MTG Arena at the very end of October, like the last week of October, and I already have 300 hours in the game. It's how I learned to play Magic. It's the only thing I, I've never played physically because I got into it obviously during the pandemic. So MTG Arena is pretty much all I know. And I already have the Kaldim uh, Mastery Pass pre-ordered and the booster set pre-ordered in that. So I have all that shit to open digitally next Thursday. All right, let's go through this. Tormenting voice. We're getting some more dupes around here. We've been through a lot, so we're getting some dupes. Drana's silencer. MTG and Arena is sick. I love it. Obviously, I love it. I played 300 hours in a couple of months. Yeah, Turtle Box. They let me do a card reveal. I did a card reveal for Kaldim. It was the uh, coward wall guy. I like how I don't even know my own fucking card. Uh, let me see. Let me go back in my tweets. And then everyone that plays uh, Magic the Gathering was like, who the fuck is this guy? Craven Hulk. Craven Hulk is the one that I uh, did a card announcement for. Creature, giant coward. Craven Hulk can't block alone. Four health, uh, four attack. Here, I'll link it in the uh, chat. Hey, call off the void. Thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Dude, I didn't add those other stuff. 15. Uh, here, I'll link the card release that I did. And it also, uh, it's a, it's a quote tweet because Jordan, Jordan and uh, Brendan also got cards to reveal. You can check out their cards, but that this is all, all from Kaldim. So what I'm hoping is that one of my Kaldim boosters has the, my card that I debuted in it. And then I'll get it framed and I'll sign it for myself. Dauntless Survivor. Here we go. Expedition Skulker. And I think they're sending me a Kaldim, Kaldim t-shirt and some boosters. Now here he's binding. But I'm not sure, because I haven't gotten anything in the mail yet. Dreadworm. Dreadworm. McKindy Ox Showcase Art. McKindy Ox Showcase. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, tap target creatures and opponent control. Rabid Bite. And I mentioned it earlier, but since new people are swarming in. Hey, Call of the Void, thank you again for the 500 bits. Thank you everyone who has participated in this sick ass hype train. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Rabid Bite. Um, I mentioned it earlier, but I mentioned it again, I did pre-order all of the Bob Ross land cards. I think I got the foils and the regulars. But I play in MTG Arena, I play with the Bob Ross plans. Brotag, Night Runner. The metal art cards? Uh, no. I don't have a bazillion dollars. I have to pick and choose all my... I have to pick my battles. 
Rotag Night Runner. Kite Sail Cleric. All right. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Yeah, if you didn't see it, uh, look it up, Team Rocket. They they released them in December for pre-order. They come out in uh, in March. Or they'll ship, be shipping in March, I believe. Kite Sail Cleric. Hype Train success. Enjoy your emotes, everyone. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you again, everyone who gifted subs or subbed or did bits during the hype train. Call off the void, Fey Dust, Pool Alien, Tetris Addiction, Mr. Average D, uh, Snoozy Snail, Turtle Box, Dank Meme Center, Emperor Pompeii. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right, big money, no whammy. Bala Ged Recovery. This doubles as a land. Big money, no whammy. Swarm Shambler. Let's go. And Full Art Swamp. Illusion Token. All right. Oof. Oof. Audi. I love that uh, emote. The, uh, oh, that's the new Pog Champ for the day. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next up. Let's fucking go. We haven't sleeved in a, one in a while. Maybe this one will have a sleeve in it. One, a sleeve worthy card. Zim Raptor. What up, simple creature? What up, I Iso Rui? Going. Sergio Leal. No habla español. Que soy está viejo y podrido. Ooh, ardent Electroman. Time for a new sleeve. Leave the most expensive one, even if it's 50 cents. Okay. Negate. I'm supposed to have this one on my sideboard, but I don't. Drana Silencer. Let me see how much negate is worth. Negate from Zendikar. 19 cents! Drawn a silencer. Might of Murasa. Spare supplies. Scale the heights. Sorry. Shepherd of Heroes. See, for shits and giggles, let's see how much this one's worth. Shepherd of Heroes. 19 cents. Mana Sky Dancer. Cleric of Chill Depths. This one might be worth 50 cents. Let's go. Probably gonna be 19 cents. Fifteen cents. Not a good pack, guys, so far. No sleevables. Mind Carver. The art is great. Oh, this one's a quarter. We're moving up. Side of the van art? Yeah. Don't go near that van. He's bad news. He's a bad influence and he smells like marijuana. 
Mind Carver. Gomo Fada. Hello, Goma. Hello, Fada. This card's back in my deck. It's a dupe. Probably worth nothing. A Relic Axe. Come on, big money, no whammies. Turn Timber Symbiosis. This doubles as a land as well. Okay. Ooh, $8. This is sleeve worthy. This is eight. This is worth $8. $9 on Card Kingdom. $7.75 on eBay. All right. And then below that is a full art island. And then a regular here. Full art island. Uh, turn, ta uh, turn timber symbiosis. We called it, dude. We had a sleeveable one in this one. Nice. And then, of course, you get the land on the back. It enters the battlefield. You may pay three life. If you don't, it enters tapped. Turn Timber Symbiosis. All right. Hell yeah. We got a sleeveable one. Let's fucking go, guys. So what are we at now? Between uh, all the ones that are sleeved that we had, what, 24? And so this is eight. So that's uh, 36, right? Um, so that's 36. The entire box was 55. And then we have all of these as well. All these cards. The box has almost paid for itself and we still have three packs to go plus the collector's pack. Oh, Tech News Day's up. Don't leave, no, watch it afterwards. Uh, I would assume that if you're playing competitively that People know what's on the other side, so it doesn't really matter. Like that one that I had, um, this one, like I obviously know what's on the back side of this. There's no question about it. I play this one all the time, and I feel like anyone that's gonna be playing competitively will know. Thank you so much, Simple Creatures. Appreciate it. Appreciate everyone who watches our show on YouTube. If you're here, uh, Abrasive Adam, yes, we are sleeving right now. We are sleeving a Turn Timber Symbiosis. It's an $8 card. It has uh, a land on the back that you can uh, pay for uh, enter it tapped. Uh, so if for some reason you're here just watching Magic and you have no idea about my show, you should go to YouTube and search Internet Today. Because me and Elliot do a news show every day. Not every day, but enough. Turn Timber Symbiosis. There you go. Big money, no whammy. New video did just drop. Okay. <sighs> pack time. Three more packs and then a collector's pack. And then of course we also had Cherix the Raging Isle foil card, which I don't think is worth very much because it comes with all of these. Fifty cents. Oh no, this one's different. So this is part of the bundle. Oh yeah, I think that I entered that already. Bundle. Eighty-six. Sixty-eight cents. That one's worth. You get more support if you don't if you don't skip past the ads. Uh no, it's all the ad stuff is literally based on people that use the promo codes that we send out and like our specific links. So people like if you if you are interested in the people that advertise with us, use our links. Like if you want the CBD, the the feels CBD, use our feels link and we will get credit for that. All right, next pack. Or if it's like like honey, we got sponsored by honey. So it's like if you're going to install the honey thing, use our link so that we get credit for sending you and then they'll uh, sponsor the show more. Uh, all the Bernie memes should be in today's episode. Elliot edited it. But we did talk about the Bernie memes. All right. Here we go. Zendikar rising.
Hi, Tuna. Love you. Oh, guys, Tuna came into the doorway, my cat, and she looked at me and I went, hi, Tuna. And she looked and then she just flopped over. That's going to come rubber belly. Now she's looking her asshole, so I'm not going over there. Uh, we edit, like Elliot edits two, I edit two every week. Elliot writes two, I write two. Thank you, Elegant Crab. <clears throat> uh, there already is an emote. The uh, I should have it because I'm subscribed to them. There's already an emoji. Let me find it. Oh, God. Why am I subbed to them? There you go. There you go. Yeah, Sega Fan has it. Okay, here we go. Shell shield. Practice tactics. That wasn't like a mean thing. Like, why am I subbed to them? I think it was because they hosted like some event uh, like months ago and I just forgot that I was subbed. I mean, I've spent like 15 or $20 and I didn't even realize it. Those could have been packs. You guys have it set where you write specific shows. Like I always, I always do the dailies and news dump. Elliot does tech and weird. Practice tactics. Pyroclastic Helion. Gnarlid Colony. Trying to get it centered there better. Nimana Skitter Sneak. Living Tempest. Seagate Colossus. Disenchant. From legend it was forged, and to legend it returns. Turn Timber Ascetic. Stonework Pack Beast, another dupe. Ravenger's Mace. That's cool looking. There you go. Acquisitions Expert. I definitely see people play this one a lot. Is there a code in these where you can get the packs in line as well? Uh, one of the ones that I got did have a MTG code in it, but I don't think I saw one in this one. I don't think so. Ugh. That would be cool though. Acquisitions XO. Okay, big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Zalundi Vision. That doubles as a land. Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I think so, kinda. It's more similar to like probably Hearthstone. I'll play. I'll play MTG and Arena after this, so you guys can see. Nighthawk Scavenger. Two dollars and sixty cents, sleeve worthy. The turtle box. I got a turtle box. Is calling it before I can even look it up. Nighthawk scavenger. So now we're up to thirty six, thirty eight, thirty. It's actually four forty nine on Card Kingdom. It's three dollars on eBay. So we'll call it three dollars. So now we're at thirty nine. So we've only almost made back the entire gift box purchase. So we'll sleeve this one. 
Let's reveal the one under it really quick before we sleeve it. Turtle box is quick, dude. And then, oh, a full art planes card. And then welcome to arena. All right, Nighthawk Scavenger. Three dollars. Three dollars. Well, I hear three dollars. This is the. This is what I'm doing though. I am driving up the prices of these cards by streaming pack openings. Because if I can make Magic the Gathering pack openings popular, we're all gonna get rich. It's like Elon Musk tweeting about Bitcoin. Tell your friends. Let's make some money. We're going to do it. Hey, okay, it is sleeved. Should I double sleeve it? Everyone hoping for Yeah, the Black Lotus, it's currently, what's it up to? The Black Lotus is on uh, auction right now, and it's at like $700,000. One card, $700,000. It is currently... Where is it at? Why is this not... Here we go. A million dollars. Wait, why did it, it went back down? Oh, so, okay. People were driving the price up and they pushed it back down because now they're making it so it's only pre-approved buyers. So you have to fucking uh, prove that you have the capital to put the bid down now. Like eBay has locked it down. Uh, so now it's back down to $310,000. So it's $310,000 for one Magic the Gathering card. It's the Black Lotus from the original uh, set and it's signed by the artist. And it's graded, it's sealed. Anyways, this one's, uh, what was it? $8 or something? $3? This is $3. Big money. Oh, okay. We're down to just three packs left. Two regular packs and a collector's pack. I mean, not to like quote, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uncut gems, but that card, that's history right there, baby. That's history. So yeah, it's $300,000, but you literally own a piece of history. And it's not like that, pr that price will not go down. If you hold on to that card for five years, you're going to make money. You hold on to that card for 10 years, you're going to make money. You just have to have the money to buy it. Like if I was fucking Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or some millionaire billionaire, I'd fucking uh, buy it. I'd buy it. And I'd put it like in a sealed case somewhere. Double Black Lotus. I'd put it in like a sealed room where no one could get to it. So it could just appreciate in value. I would never show it to anyone. I would never bring it to like a trade, like a convention or something and be like, no, you can't see my black Lotus. Get the fuck out of here. My desk is just, a pi just piles of open decks now. Here we go. Put it in your wallet. Yeah, right next to the, the condom and the family photos. Misa links. Cedar Peak Ambusher, another great one. Martin Scully would buy it and yeah, destroy it. Dual Laporte Duelist, very cool. Resolute Strike. Blood Beckoning, very cool art. <laughs> Get away, booger eaters. Get your boogers all over my card. Adventure awaits. I've seen this one a bunch.
But keep in mind the cheapest you can get a playable Lotus for in most trade markets is 4K. When this card sells, its value is going to artificially inflate and a lot of collections are gonna be worth so much. So that's the thing is like, all, uh, you know, what is it? All boats rise with the tide or whatever. So the fact that Pokemon collection is being a huge resurgence because simply based on the value and rarity of cards, that's going to have an effect on magic. And it's clear that magic wants to harness some of that market share because they're doing, you know, literally like the collector's pack and the Caldeem collector's pack. It's like, yeah, look, these are the rarest cards. Obviously you want them. So it's a great marketing. And, and I think it's, uh, you know, especially in the times we're living in or whatever, it's cool. It gets people into collecting. Um, but yeah, I just have no interest in Pokemon. I could sit here and open Pokemon cards that I have no idea what I'm talking about. These, I have limited knowledge of what I'm talking about based on the fact that I've just played for a couple months, but it's obviously more entertaining for me because I play against these cards or with these cards on a daily basis. So I don't know. It's fun. I like it. It's fun. Okay. Rising tides lift all boats. There you go. A kindy ox. Glacial Grasp. Do the unpackings great? I've been watching Pokemon unpackings. Farley did a bunch the other day, like eight hours of unpacking. It's just soothing to watch. And like the anticipation of having something, like pulling out something randomly that's worth anything, even when we did like $3 one, like that's exciting. It's fun. And Bruce did, of course, yeah. Did, I think Bruce ended up like just giving the cards away or something. He was doing something like that. You guys can't have my Magic the Gathering cards. I want to use them. Feed the Swarm. Magic is a little different. There are cards they legally won't ever reprint. Every card on that list is about to be worth hundreds or thousands of more dollars than they ever have been. Wizards of the Coast needs to decide if now is the time to start reprinting those cards to stop the market from exploding. I don't think they will. Because I think you want the market to explode because that's free marketing for your game. Like, they are selling more Pokemon packs right now than they probably have in recent years because people are entranced by the rarity and entranced by, like, the activity of opening them. It's like the... It's like in games, with like, uh, you know, any game where you can open up a random gun skin. Like, you get a random skin. It's like, oh... 99% of the time I'm going to get trash, but that 1% of the time that I get something good is exciting. Which is smart but scummy at the same time. Finch and Legacy are about to go from $10,000 decks to $50,000 decks. Crazy. Insane. It is loot boxes. It's IRL loot boxes. Feed the Swarm. Rabid Bite. Spring Mantle Cleric. But that's also like kind of cool too. It's like all of these you can just go on uh, anywhere. The Magic site has the Caldeem ones. But go on MTG Goldfish and like really you could just print all these out and play for essentially free minus the cost of printing a bunch of cards on one sheet of paper and cutting them out. But you could technically play for free with your friends. Spring Mantle Cleric. Roost of Drakes. Juari Disruption. All right, big money, no whammy. Wayward Guide Beast. leave it nope not worth it not even enough for a big mac all right let's go full art forest full art forest and then plant token but the art is nice nice art that that tree pulling a wagon that tree is thick as hell look at all these cards we've gone through Oh, 
plant. <clears throat> all right, one regular one and one collector booster. Here we go. That's all we have left, and then we'll do a round or two of MTG Arena. I have the binder. I got your binder right here. Here's uh, the ones, all the cards that are the most expensive are all right here. Like I said, that the most expensive one that I have is I think it's Body Snatcher, is that it? Oh, that Feed the Swarm was worth something because I have it in here. It's gotta be over a dollar. I pulled it in the last pack. Yeah, it's a, it's a dollar. Oh, Land Tax. Okay, so here's the most expensive one that I have. Do I dare take it out? I guess I should, and then I can sleep. There is the, I wanna wait till Turtle gets back. There's the most uh, valuable card that I have. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm technically not sponsored by this game. I got to do a pack or a card reveal though. But that was just like, one of the guys from Wizards DM me. I was like, do you wanna do this? I, I see you like our game. This is $40, $35 or $40 for this one card. And this is just like literally randomly, it was in a big pile of cards that I had from opening three months ago. And I didn't think anything of it. And then I started, I uh, started like documenting all the cards that I have, like putting them into collection and then saw this one. and was like, wait, hold on. I would love it if they would sponsor me. What up, James? I'm trying to find which one it is. There's one land tax that's worth 80 there. Yeah, this is it. $40. Worth $40. It went up in value $5 this week. Uh, MTG Goldfish, cool alien. It gives you, uh, it goes between eBay, uh, card warehouse or whatever, uh, TCG player market prices. I believe it is a chest. Got a little lock. I should probably go ahead and sleeve this. I wonder if I sleeve it, if it'll fit still in the, uh, folder. I was hoping Turtle would be back in time, but there it is, sleeved. It does indeed fit in the folder, sleeved. Yeah, I'm gonna go on uh, like the uh, episode of, um, it was uh, Antiques Roadshow, the guy brings his, uh, Oh, Turtle Box, you missed it. I was showing the the most valuable card that I currently have in my very small collection. I have not seen the new WandaVision yet. I've seen the first two episodes. I pulled that from a random booster like two months ago. I 
And according to the buy list prices stuff, this is the most valuable one that I have. So I sleeved it. I love the first two, uh, James. I think it's a great, great show. I like it a lot. Okay. Two packs. The Battle Bond one, it is... Land Tax The List version. The List version. I wish it was the Legends one, because that one's $80. Battle Bond is... $31. The Battle Bond foil. Oh, maybe it is the Battle Bond. What is the list? Yeah, it's a mystery booster, whatever. Anyways, it's around the same price. So it doesn't really matter to me. All right, two packs left. We have one 15 regular blah, blah, blah. Uh, one 15 card collector booster. So let's do it. Get the ASMR going. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, experimentalism. We got a rich man in the chat. That they're slowly reprinting in mystery boosters and collectors. Cool. Alright, Seafloor Stalker. Azim Raptor. Ardent Electromancer. Negate. Fritos, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Thank you, Fritos. Negate. Kazandu Stopper. This is not the collector's pack, no. One more before the collector's booster. This is the last one before it. <clears throat> Ghastly Gloom Hunter. Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Ooh, Occam Hellhound. I play with this one every single day as well. This is one of my favorites in my mono red aggro because, oh shit, what just happened to my camera? Well, at least it paused on the card so I can fuck around with it. Uh, so this card that is paused on. Um, it's great because it's one red mana. And then uh, anytime you put a mana down, it gets a plus two, uh, plus two HP and plus two attack. Uh, why is this broken? There you go. Okay, it's back. Okay, so this is cool. I love this. I love this card. It's one of my favorites. It's probably not worth anything, but I like it because I play with it. 19 cents. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Uh, it should, yeah. No, there we go. Bubble Snare. This People use this against me all the time. This is another very popular one. Spring Mantle Cleric. Another dupe. Another one that I play with a lot. Merfolk Wind Robber. I love that I have this because now I don't need to buy it off of Card Kingdom. I can just already have it. Because this is one of the ones that I was going to buy to complete my uh, blue mill deck that I'm currently playing with, but in the physical world. So always happy to have that. Black Bloom Rogue. And that also doubles as a land.
Inscription of Insight. <laughs> Do I have playmats? No, this is just a giant... Uh, Actually, I do have a playmat, because I have the playmat for Binding of Isaac, Four Souls, and it's gigantic. Ooh, oh, Skyclave Apparition Foil! I sound so dorky, but this is dope. We looked this up earlier. This is one of the craziest ones that you can get. Wow. Skyclave Apparition Foil. Let's see. 039. Yep. This is an $8.40 coin. This one. Or coin. $8.40 coin. Uh, card. Card. And this one is real fucking powerful. You drop this on the battlefield and you take one of the other player's cards. So this is this is great. Shiny Ghost. Skyclave Apparition. So now that is... That's 24, 36, 39. So we're at 40... 45, 48? $48. It's actually eleven ninety nine on Card Kingdom. $9 on eBay, so we'll call it 9 So, uh, 30, or 48 So we're almost like... Pretty much the cost of the gift, gift box set in how many cards? Five cards would pay off the gift box, the entire gift box that I got. Okay, let's sleeve this bad boy. And then behind the Skyclave is a full art mountain, which is goddamn beautiful. Let's sleeve this bad boy. Skyclave apparition foil. I like fucking turtle. Slave! Slave! I was very excited. Ugh, I like a glove. No, we still have the collector's one to go through. Okay, there we go. Cool. I mean, already this is like, it's been incredible. And we haven't even done the collector's one, which like, not getting my hopes up, but it would be cool to get something in there. But yeah, for uh, $48 worth of cards and five cards that we pulled. Yep. All right. Now it is time. It is time. Every time I use that card, I have to say bye-bye. Oops, nice. Oops, oops. Hello, hello. All right. It is the collector booster time. Focus camera. But now it's not going to focus. Probably because of the light shining off of it. All right. Here we go. Of course, this one like opens the most awkwardly. It's like, no, we want you to bend everything that's inside. There we go. Of course, it opens the worst. Oh, we got another. We already had one of these. Smite the monstrous. Smite the monstrous foil. Okay. They're all foils, I believe. Abrasive. Synchronized spellcraft foil. Blood beckoning foil. The synchronized spellcraft. Synchro. 
Nice. Spellcraft. Foil. 25 cents. Nice. Blood Beckoning. Blood Beckoning. Foil. 25 cents. There you go. These are all going to look like Pringles. They all fold like... Like this. Blood Beckoning. Scale the Heights. Twenty six cents. Shepherd of Heroes. None of these are going to sleep to like the last five or eight. Okay. Cargan War Leader. Thirty cent. Cargan War Leader foil. Shadow Slinger. Shadow Stinger. Planes. Full art planes foil. Here we go. Here we go. Obun Muldaya Ancestor. Turtle Box, thank you for gifting a sub to Oblivious Gamer. Obun Muldaya Ancestor. I think it's full art. Okay. Extended foil. Three dollars. Let's go. We'll sleeve it. We'll sleeve it. Let's find out what's next. Carefully. Okay. So we're going to sleeve this one. Look at the art. Dope. Yes, thank you so much, Turtlebox, for gifting those six subs. All right, here we go. Tabarax, Hope's Demise, Foil. Legendary Creature, Demon Cleric. Yeah, that one's okay. Not crazy. Tabarax Hope's Demise. Leaving the uh, Obun. Yeah. So now we're at 52. The whole box is pretty much paid for. Okay. Obun is one of the commanders in the pre-constructed decks. Okay. So Tabarax. Canopy Baloth. That's a showcase art. Okay. Prowling Felidar Showcase Okay Omnath Locus of Creation Legendary Creature Elemental and that's Showcase, I believe. Ooh, 
Ooh, seven fifty. Seven dollars and fifty cents, folks. We have literally made back the entire cost of the gift box with what six cards. So this puts us at uh, fifty-six dollars. So there you go. Fifty-six dollars in like six cards. So we gotta sleeve it. Okay, ready? Next one, and then we can sleeve this one. Here we go. Spitfire Lagak foil. Showcase foil. Turtle's just here shopping. Okay, Omnath is going in the sleeve. Showcase foil. Oh yeah, and it's alt art too. From Dominic Mayer. Or Meyer. <laughs> the Bruce with the glasses emote is like so perfect for card reveals. Okay, so this one... Foil, Spitfire, Lagak, Alt Art with Showcase. Lagak! $0.25! Cents. Oh, I was hoping that would be more. <laughs> $0.25? Cents. That one's worth like nothing. Who comes up with these? Well, you know, it looks cool to me, so that's all that matters, you know? There you go. Clean my mouse. Eh, whatever. Got a little smudge on it. Okay, well, look, the art is fucking awesome. There you go. All right, ready? There are one, two, three cards left. Three cards left. Here we go. Balakut Awakening. Foil. Put any number of cards from your... Looks, is that extended? I think that's extended art as well. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, then draw that many cards plus one. And there's also a land on the back. Leave ish Yeah, that's $7. Holy shit, $7 for that one. So that's, now we're well over 60, like 62 or something. Yeah. So that's another $7 card. Okay, and here's the last one. But I think this is just gonna be like a token. So this is, I think the most, like the rarest one in the pack. And then illusion token and plant on the back. So there you go. Balakut storm forge with this. So there you go. That one is worth it. And that one is, oh yeah, on eBay right now is $10 for this one. So we'll say 65. So 50 plus tax in California. We made five bucks. Just off of a couple of the cards. I mean, the rest of the cards, every card here is going to be worth 10 cents. And a lot of them are worth a quarter or 50 cents or whatever. The sleeve. Turtle, you got to show, you got to follow and make sure you show up every stream that I do openings because I am going to be doing... Uh, Caldeem openings. February 5th, baby. Right when it drops. Unless they let me do it early, because if they send me some stuff early and let me open it early, I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. All right. A sleeve sound effect. 
So here are the crazy ones that we got from tonight's opening. Okay. These are the crazy rare ones. We have Valakut Awake oops, Valakut Awakening Foil. We have Omnath Locus of Creation. We have they don't let anyone open. Oh, yeah. So is that the uh, Good Morning Magic guy that I watched? Because I just watched two hours of him opening Chaldeem. We have Obun, Moldaya Ancestor. We have the fucking, this one I was really hoping to get and we got it. The Foil Skyclave Apparition. We have the Nighthawk Scavenger. We have the Turn Timber Symbiosis. Another one that I was so, so excited for and got it. Foil Agadim's Awakening. Hopefully you'll see me play with this in just a second. And then uh, Ashaya Soul of the Wind. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, six, seven, eight cards. And this is $65, $70 sitting right here. So not bad. Not bad at all. Gotta put these in the folder. And now we will play some arena. I will organize and clean my desk afterwards. So uh, let's see here. This is the hype. Oh no. Open it up here. Scoop back to center. Since I'm not opening cards now. See my fucking screens here. All right. Whoop, don't look at my hand. Whoop. All right, let's it should just pop up. I think it's the last game. That Here you go. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching me uh, open cards. I had a blast, so I hope you had fun. Uh, cool, so here's what I have pre-ordered. I have uh, the booster packs with Kaya the uh, Inerexable. And then I also have the mastery pass with Nico Eris. That's all pre-ordered for Chaldeem. Sure thing, Elegant Crab. This is my mastery so far. This, I got in on it late, but I'm still, I'm at uh, level 107. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end by next week. I don't think so, but I did pretty good, all things considered. Got my mastery tree looking pretty good. All right, let's play around. Again, I'm just doing ranked because I don't care because I've just been having fun with this deck. But here we go. Thank you, Team Rocket. Oh, well, getting a Fabled Passage would be sick. In, uh... 21, core 21 deck. See, here's my Bob Ross Swamp. Throne of Eldrage. Eldrage, I think that's, that's, those are from. Blue and black. pop up any oh.
He's the Flashmore. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm like getting not great draws. Embarrassing. What up, RG Gomez? See, like I might lose, but he definitely got pissed at me for doing that. Look at this. Come on. Ooh, but, oh, fuck. I don't have anything to do. I don't have any mana to play anything with. But now at least I have some shit. Let's fucking go. Don't, okay. And then I still have enough mana for my Heartless Act if I need it. So anyways, if for people that were watching, like, what's fucking MTG Arena? This is it. This is basically Magic the Gathering's answer to Hearthstone. Oh, God damn it. Well, oh well. There goes that. No! Why is this fucking pull so good? I know, I know MTGO existed before Hearthstone, but this is like their Hearthstone competitor. God damn it. Jesus, fuck, okay. Um... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You've got to be shitting me. Jesus. I mean, I guess all things considered, at least he hasn't gotten lucky with lands. You've got to be fucking... How many of these fucking Scorching Dragon Fires does he have? He has uh, 28 left in his hand. Because he, he keeps killing all my mill shit. I 
And I have this sitting here waiting for if he puts something decent out. Take my guys again. Keeps playing the saga. You've actually got to be shitting me. Like, what's the point of even playing lands right now? I could take my guy back. Fuck it. Give me that shit. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, I'm only platinum three right now. Because I've just been playing these mill deck things in like kind of a crapshoot. Good night, Nick Cam. Thank you for stopping by. Boom. Look, another unboxing. Lull Mage is familiar. I could buy some packs right now, but I'm trying to save all my coins for uh trying to save all my coins for when Chaldean comes out. I did buy the Ikoria pack today. All the arts today are amazing. I just don't play these uh cards. Save for the sealed and drafts, yeah. A regular land would have been nice for this setup. God, I meant to do the fucking water. I'm an idiot. I'm a moron. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. That's how I can tell it's late. Stupid fucking decisions, man. No, this is the one that I just fucking uh, got. How about some fucking lands, dude? Give me that shit back. Just a token, but. But yeah, that Skyclave. Jacob Gamer Man emote. That Skyclave is a real bitch of a card, and that's the one that I just unlocked the foil of. Yeah, if he attacks with it, I'm gonna kill him. And he didn't. Oh, here's the other one that I have. 
that I found in the pack tonight, a foil of it. I mean, I kind of have to play this as a fucking mana. What up, Strawberry All? Oh my god, look at all the plants! Give me water! I need a water uh, land or whatever island. Fucking come on. Blue. That's what I need. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Yeah, of course. I can't do anything because I don't have any fucking. Oh, you got to be kidding me. At least maybe I can get like death touch now. There we go, death touch. Eesh. Ay, ay, ay. Must be nice. Hey, look, there's another one we got today, another expensive one. Turn timber. You've got to be shitting me. You actually have to be shitting me. Thank you, Project Gummo. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Enjoy WandaVision. Come on, you dipshit. Ache, doctor. Oh, come on. You gotta be shitting me. Oh my god, why? This is like abuse. It's abuse is what it is. This is insane. Oh my god. I can't even use my rune crab on this. I mean, I can use it to block. I can kill one of his guys at that. Get here. Wow, now I can't use anything else. Are you, like, what is going on? This guy has like the Konami code for this game. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I can't go out on that. We gotta do another one. <laughs> yeah.
F's for real. Nah, that's like the worst luck I've ever had as far as not getting any, like zero uh, blues that time. This is a tough one. Pray for the best. Did not want to mulligan this. <sighs> Here's my $100 bear. Left. Double-faced two lands. Big voodoo bear. And here comes the love struck beast. There we go. See, I might lose, but he's still very angry right now. God damn it. Just suck that guy. <laughs> like every single round is like, I, I don't have like any creatures to come out. I don't have any mills going. I just have counters, which is fine, but I just spent all of my mana getting more cards with the hopes that I would get something that I could use against the other player instead of countering the entire time. Whatever. And like my next thing enters tapped if I want to use it. That's just the luck of the draw. Ugh. Okay, let's see how this goes. 
Is there a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh like online version like this for Yu-Gi-Oh? I could try to learn it. So far, the other player has just milled himself by getting all the cards and playing them. Hi, Bear. Hello. Okay, so we have a crab coming out. That's good. My end to the stories got reduced because he has more shit in his graveyard now. I have some counters. Not the worst position. Really would have liked to have countered that. Mill all of his cards down. Mill his card his deck until he's at zero and then I instantly win. And use counters to stop him from doing things. Because if he hits zero cards in his deck, he instantly dies. Not instantly, when it turns his turn. But also, I'm, I'm hitting, I'm doing decent damage to him too in the meantime. But he's planning something. There he goes. He's gonna hit another one. There he goes. He's at 23 now, I have my counter. Fucking go.
Open that big bear belt. Yeah. It'll be on Android phones. There that goes. Bye bye. And all of his mana's gone and cool. He might just uh, end the game right now. No, Roy Rogers? Damn. He doesn't have any mana to do anything now, though. And I still have my end of the story. I think I'm gonna need it. I think I'm gonna finish him here. There he goes. There he fucking goes. Bye bye. Boom. Oh, that felt good. That was good. You fired. So close to getting this. What is it? 850? I don't think I can even get it with this. Five. That would be 950. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. But uh, here's the thing. We've been here for three hours. We did so much pack opening. I had, a fu I had, a, I had such a great time with all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see who's on and streaming and we can pay it forward to someone and you guys can go show them just how wonderful you all are. Uh, yeah, card opening, great. We had a great time. I Look, it's this is gonna end up being an expensive hobby because I really enjoy doing it. Um, but we do have Caldeem to look forward to. Uh, I'll be playing that next week digitally and then I will be doing pack openings physically February 5th. Uh, Ian is on playing Chrono Cross. So we're going to raid Ian. Any uh, Chrono Cross fans out there? We're going to raid Ian. So everyone stick around. Show Ian some love. And uh, it would just be great if you could stick around, show Ian some love. And then uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I'll be in Ian's chat for a while hanging out. Um, I will see you over there. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for uh, the subs and everything. And uh, I don't know if Taco is still here, but fantastic uh, calls on what was sleevable and what wasn't. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you over in uh, Ian's chat. Bye-bye.